Good morning, Two Cool Stamping friends. This is Angie, and we're here live with our weekly class. I have a lot of fun projects today, not just cards. We're gonna do some little treat holders that are kind of fun today as well. And we're gonna be featuring the Best Dressed Suite. So you can find that in the current January to June mini catalog. Uh, if you need a copy of the catalog, I'll be happy to send you one. If you do not have another Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you already work with, just go by my uh, my blog site, my website, twocoolstamping.com, and click on the email link there. Send me a message on, and with your contact information. I'll be happy to send one out to you. But we have some fantastic product, projects uh, to share with the Best Dressed Suite, and you guys are going to love it. I'm going to show you some of the products from there. Um, and like I said, not just cards today. And we will have a kit, so um, you can uh, get a free kit at the end of this, um, at the end of the class, I'll show you all the projects that you get in the kit, but we'll be doing many of the projects that you'll get. And um, you'll get the, the kit, uh, all the parts and pieces to make all of the projects for free. And all you need to do is place a $35 order at my online store. You can find that at twocoolstamping.com and then click on the shop now link. That'll take you directly there. You need to use the host code and um, I, I will, when we turn the camera around, I'll show you what that host code is. But if you wanna write it down right now, it's F C J X j y three two and i'll mention that again when we flip the camera so um okay let's let's go ahead and flip the oh let me just uh, remind you again we just came out last week with the second release of products for celebration so there's five new items don't forget about that if you haven't had a chance to see those you can see those at my website twocoolstamping.com and last week we did the flowering foils as a feature and that is my absolute favorite from from the new uh, release. So definitely check that out. You can also see a couple of Rise and Shine projects on my website today. That's the cute little coffee cups that match the cup of cheer dyes. Really adorable if you like coffee. I don't even like coffee and I love this stamp set. It's just super cute and just a great stamp set to use if you wanna send your friend a little pick me up and let them know that you're thinking about them. So definitely check that out. Okay, let's flip the camera around because we have lots and lots of projects to show you today. I think you're really gonna like it. It's a little bit different. So hold on for a second while I flip the camera. Everyone gets a nice shot of my ceiling for a second. All right, let's get this all put together here. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about the best dressed sweet. Let me show you what it looks like in the catalog. This is the mini catalog, like I mentioned, and there's all kinds of beautiful projects, or products, I should say. Um, the stamp set and die bundle uh, with the stamp set dressed to impress. That's this one. And you have cute little feminine items, little shoes and perfume and lipstick and some flowers and really um, kind of unique trendy little sentiments that go with it as well kind of fun for mother's day and then also the dyes that go with it the dress to impress bundle has the all dressed up dyes this one i love we're going to show you how to put together a little tote like a little purse with this die and then we have all kinds of dyes to to uh, die cut those images that you see in the stamp set so that is the the biggest feature of this suite we also are gonna use some of this really pretty mint macaron sheer ribbon, um, linen ribbon. And I'm going to show you the note cards and envelopes and we'll do a few projects with those as well. So, um, oh, and I forgot to mention the really, really pretty designer series paper. I love this paper. I actually can't even show you all of the patterns in person or at least the actual sheets because I have so few left because I, I think I bought several packs but I've been using them on everything. The thing I like about them, they're six by six, and the thing I really like is one side, you get a bunch of florals. So you can see there's uh, really pretty spring florals, just really awesome for this time of year. And then on the back side, you either get a coordinating pattern like dots or stripes, or you get um, 
really cute patterns that have to do with these the feminine images that are in the stamp set. So shoes and perfume and purses and lipstick. And um, so you have lots of variation. It's kind of a unique thing uh, to have very, you know, all the feminine items, things that, that women would have in their purse, fancy things, and then the florals on the other side. So you can kind of choose, you can mix and match. Um, I, I love, love, love the floral images just on their own. So that's really fun for me. Okay, so we're gonna use the stamp set on all of our projects today. We're gonna start out with a simple card. And the card that I am showing you, actually I showed you, I can't remember how long ago it was, but I have featured the uh, similar card on my blog recently, but I love it so much because it's so easy to put together. And so I wanted to show you how to do that really quickly. So for this one, we're gonna start with Purple Posy. Even though this color is not available in ink, I love this cardstock, so I use it a lot. Uh, it is a little bit shorter than a traditional card base. It is five and a half by seven and a half instead of eight and a half. And we've scored it at the four and, a, four and a quarter mark. So we have a shortened card front. I actually, this is one of my favorite ways to do a card lately. I don't know why, I just have been really coming back to this shortened card base. Especially when there's a really pretty designer series paper that you can uh, focus, uh, that you can feature. Okay, so this one has the big beautiful flowers on the one side and it's a three by five and a quarter. And this is nice, you'll be able to get two card fronts out of one sheet of that six by six paper. Okay, and then on the inside, I'm going to have another strip, and this is actually just the back side of the same pattern of paper, but I love that, just a, a purple, floral pattern. We're gonna put that right along the inside edge here so that that will show next to that pretty panel. I love when we can show both sides of that. And then while I'm in here and on the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and add my other Whisper White card inside here. And I'm just gonna butt that right up next to the designer series paper. And then we have a nice place that we can stamp an image, a sentiment, or, uh, write, and or write our message. Okay, here is our card front. I have a little panel here that's three by one, and it's the purple posy again. And I'm just gonna add that right along the bottom, just to make a little foundation for where I want to add my focal point. Next, I've already die cut a stitched shapes circle and I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on that but before that I want to stamp a little background so I, I am using the piercing mat you'll notice I always like to do that because this is a photopolymer stamp set so we need a little extra cushion with those and I'm gonna use this little splotchy wash image with some Highland Heather and I'm actually gonna stamp off once just to get a little bit lighter so it's more like the purple posy color. Let me do that again because I hit the edge of that. I hit the edge of the piercing mat. All right, stamp that and then we'll stamp the sentiment in memento black right over the top and this says Kindness is always in style. That's so fun. It's fabulous. So there is our focal point. Now before I put it on the actual card, I'm gonna add some leaves. And so I have some old olive cardstock here and the leaf punch. We're just gonna punch out a couple of those just to add a little texture and a pop of color and we'll just add a little bit of snail behind that circle and then pop those leaves out a little bit now notice I only put a little bit 
of snail on the one side. We're gonna have this side overlap. Can you hear that? That's my, <laughs> that's my washer. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's making a horrible sound. So here is our focal point, and I just wanna pop that up with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna add a couple of those. Now I don't wanna overlap here because I don't want that to stick closed. So I'm just gonna flip this over 180 so I know how far over I can put my dimensionals. And let's get one more here. Okay, and then we'll add that right here. So pretty. I'm gonna finish it up with some tool polka dot tool ribbon. I love this ribbon, it goes with everything. And it especially looks nice with this paper because it's very light, delicate, feminine, and springy. So it really goes so well. And then let me trim this off just to make this a little bit shorter. And we'll this down so it comes to this panel so it all kind of lines up here and let's finish up with I'm gonna add a few of the champagne rhinestones and I want to tell you that the champagne rhinestones I, they are one of my favorite things certainly from the the mini catalog right now but they are not available for order um, I happen to have some extras and I wanted you guys to be able to enjoy them on these cards because they match so well. So anyone who places an order for the kit, you'll be able to get some rhinestones that go with your cards on there. If you don't have them already, like I said, they are not orderable. And because of the coronavirus and how hard it is to get some of the products right now that are on back order, um, I don't know when those are gonna be back in stock. So we can't really guarantee that those are gonna even come back. But I do have them for the project, so if you want to play with them a little bit, you'll have a few to play with. And if you want to make your own, you can actually, um, you can just use Stampin' Blends markers on regular basic rhinestones. And if you use the terracotta light color, that's gonna give you a very similar color to this champagne color. I cannot pick that up for some reason. There we go. Let's put that right here. So just three little rhinestones there. I love how that looks contrasted next to that purple posy patterned paper. So here we go. This is one of the cards that you're going to receive in your class kit. You'll have all of the makings for that. You can stamp another little sentiment in here. Happy Mother's Day if you want to. Um, you know, if you have other sentiments that you like, you can put that on the inside, but that is one of the cards. And then you know how I like to have other versions. And I did say that this is a card design that I had created before. This was the other one that I had featured on my blog already. And I had two cool versions. So this was the floral version. And then I also did kind of a fe the feminine item version of it. So Hello Fabulous, we have a little bit bigger circle on this one, Blackberry Bliss, and the Bonanza, from the Bonan Birthday Bonanza Suite, that ruched ribbon in Daffodil Delight. And then this little perfume bottle is actually from one of the designer series papers, um, one of the patterns, so I just cut it right out of there. So, and actually put Kindness is Always in Style on the inside, so. That's a really cute one too. So this is the card that I wanted you to be able to enjoy both the floral and the fabulous, I'm calling them the fabulous items. Um, so you can get one of each of those cards to make in your class kit. So that's what we'll have available for you. So that's our first project today. <clears throat> Next, we're going to do something a little bit different. We don't do treat holders very often, but I thought I would try to show you the little tote that you can create. So let me show you when I had my kickoff party earlier this year, our little table gifts were these cute little totes 
and it features obviously the the best dressed designer series paper but I love it because they have little buckles and all of these little parts and pieces this is a little pocket that you could actually put something in if you wanted to or just a, a little accent there um, but all of these little die cuts actually come with the with the bundle so you have the straps here you have the little buckles and you can actually die cut two actually four at a time um, little buttons that go with it that's the little pocket the little sentiment right there so all of those pieces come together in that bundle so this is what we're gonna make today and we're gonna do it in a different color here so I've already cut out our two pieces that we need so let me show you that so this is the die cut and it's gonna give you one half of the bag. So I ran this through, lovely lipstick. Has all that beautiful stitching, do you see it? Can you see all that up close? So it gives you all the score lines and the stitching. And you have two pieces that we're gonna to put together. So fold all of those, they fold really well. And then we're gonna use some tear and, actually before we do that, let, let's decorate. <clears throat> with the designer series paper because it's gonna be easier to put that on now before we assemble it. So I have two pieces here that I've already die cut with the paper, but I wanted to show you a little tip. So we have the six by six pieces of paper from the Best Dressed Designer Series Paper Pack. If you cut off a little two inch strip here, you can use the four by six and get both pieces out of one of these four by six sheets. So let me just give you a little tip here. So we don't actually need clear out to the edge, the score line of that die cut. You only need to have a little bit of the stitching showing to make that a pretty completed look. So you wanna, when you run it through your die cutting machine, you wanna get that as close to the edge as you possibly can without losing any of the stitching. So you're gonna just need this part here so you'll run it through one time this way, and then you'll have just a little bit left over, just enough. I mean, I'm talking just enough. <laughs> there is no room to spare, so don't think you can move it in and have little extras on the ends. But if you are very, very efficient and get it, butt it right up to the edge over here, you're gonna have just enough room, that way you're gonna get, be able to get more out of one. Otherwise, you're only gonna get one side out of one sheet of paper. So you definitely want to try to do that. Once you have it cut out, you'll, you have to use your paper snips and actually trim it off because you'll have, it'll be a piece that's like this, maybe cut to here, and you'll need to cut off all the ex, ex, excess pieces. And actually what I did was I kind of trimmed along that stitching a little closer than the score line so that when I can put this on here, I can have just a little bit of that lovely lipstick showing and it's not gonna be right on the fold lines as well. So the one I was the most concerned about was the bottom. I didn't want it to be over the fold line at the bottom. So we'll add that on the front of each of these just dresses it up so nicely, has such a, a lovely coordinated look. And if you like Vera Bradley, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, that's where Vera Bradley started. And kind of has, kind of reminds me of a Vera Bradley pattern in a way. Okay, now we're gonna put all this together. So we're gonna start with this side tabs. So we'll add a little bit of tear and tape to the side and the tear and tape is just a teeny bit wider than that tab so don't overlap your score line here you just put a little bit right under there if I can get this off there we go and then anything that is hanging over the edge you just want to fold back on itself so it's not going to be sticky on the inside of your tote so we'll do it again on this side you can also use liquid glue. A lot of people like to use that. And the thing that's great about liquid glue is that you have a little bit of wiggle room before it dries. And it does really hold very well. If you're in a humid climate, 
Sometimes the sticky tape doesn't want to hold all the time. That's the way it is here in, in Indiana. So the liquid glue is a really good option. The tear and tape, I'm using that basically just because it's a little bit quicker to do on our video today. So I'm gonna add this together. Let's see, we're just gonna put these together like that. And then put those up on that side as well. So you can see how easy, easy that comes together. And then the rest is just doing the bottom here. So we're just gonna close all that and put some tear and tape on the last flap. And I'm just gonna put one down, but you could, you could add a little bit more if you wanted to make it a little more secure. Or again, that liquid glue. But look how fast and easy that comes together. Could that be e any easier? Everything's pretty much done for you when you have all of the, the die cutting done. So here's our little box. And actually, you could, you know, you can kind of make it different, a different look if you didn't want to poke those out. You could have it more of a trapezoid looking. But I kind of like this little tote. So that's what we're doing. Then I've already die cut a couple of those straps. Remember, you can... That just is a die cut. And I want those to be curved, so I'm gonna use my bone folder and just give it a slight curve. That way I'm not gonna crack any of the paper. And then it's gonna go on like this. So let's do that with both. The other thing I did was already die cut some of the buckles, and I did that with the silver foil. So I'm gonna take Aren't they cute? Whoops, can you even see them? I get too close and there's no light up there, but we're gonna just thread that strap right through the buckle like that. And, whoops, it came right off. You might wanna just put a little bit of tear and tape or snail or something really just to hold it in place while you're working with it I guess it's just gonna fall right off there we go okay let's hold that in place um, I'm gonna use a little bit of tear and tape on the back again this is where you could use that liquid glue the Tombow glue Okay, and actually I'm gonna recommend actually that the Tombow glue is probably gonna be the best um, to hold this in place because I did notice that some of my straps were coming off with the tear and tape. Again, we have some humidity here, so that makes it, that makes it uh, sometimes pop off. So that is what the straps look like, and then you would do the same thing on the back side. And then we're gonna decorate the front. So I already have a little pocket here. I'm not gonna actually use it as a pocket. So I'm just gonna add that to the front just for a cute accent. And you could do that before you actually put it together. It might be a little easier. Uh, also die cut a little button with silver. These buttons are so, so cute. And I'm just gonna add that with a glue dot. right here you could put a little bit of Baker's twine on there if you wanted to a little bow and then I'm gonna finish up with a little sentiment and I'm just gonna use let's see trying to find what I did with it have a little I'm gonna use the little Mother's Day sentiment with lovely lipstick so this would be kind of a fun little treat holder for a Mother's Day obviously Mother's Day gift or if you were having um, 
like a mother-daughter luncheon or a bridal shower. It's just a cute little, cute little treat holder. We'll put a couple of dimensionals on here. And add that right across the front. And then we'll finish up with a couple of rhinestones. These are just basic rhinestones. They're silver and they kind of, they go, whoops, that one doesn't have enough sticky on it. The basic rhinestones have kind of a silvery look, so that matches that silver foil really well. All right. So that's what the tote would look like. Of course, you'd have the other strap on the other side. Let me show you a couple of the other totes that we did. We wanted to try out as many of the fun colors of and patterns of that best dressed paper as we could. So we have, here's one that we did with Blackberry Bliss. And the uh, sentiment that we used on these were from the Honey Bee, Golden Honey. Now I forget the name of it. The Honey Bee. Uh, stamp set. Here's one with the grape, gorgeous grape. Here's the lovely lipstick one we did before, but we did it with a larger floral pattern. This one is with the purple posy. And then the final one is with the mint macaron. So you can see there's so many fun designs in this paper and so many color combinations that are fun to try and just, just a really cute little project. So in your class kit, you're gonna get all of the makings of, um, it might vary, it's, it's gonna depend on how much paper I have and how many people actually order the kit or earn the kit. But the majority of them are gonna be looking like this, but they will, I think the other one that I have is this. Um, so it'll be one or the other of these in your kit, but you'll have all the parts and pieces. You'll just need to stamp a sentiment and assemble everything. So really, really fun. So that is our little tote. And then I wanted to show you the cards, the little note cards that go along with this stamp set or the suite. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and there's three little note cards and they're so cute because they come with, let me show you, this is one of them. They has the purple posy, just a little swatch, and then it comes with a little matching purple posy scalloped envelope. And then even the front has a little decorative place to put your name. I hope that's showing up on the, the um, video okay. The next one that we have is a little daffodil delight one and again another little cute envelope that goes with it and then the third one is just another little swatch of petal pink with another cute little envelope look at that pretty floral so those are the three note cards i'm going to show you how to decorate those for a couple more projects that you're gonna have. Okay, so let's start with this one. And this one, we're gonna take just a little strip of some of the paper. I love some of the striped pattern that goes with it. And this is just a half inch by three. We're gonna put that right down the side here. Next, we have another little stitched shape circle and we're going to stamp on that with the bold be as bold as your lipstick so i stamped kind of over to the side because we're going to actually add one of the lipsticks from the stamp set here so it has a lipstick image we're going to stamp that in memento ink as well. And then we're gonna color that in with some Stampin' Blends. So I'm just gonna 
we want our lipstick to be nice and bold. So I'm going to use Lovely Lipstick, and I'm going to stick to the color combination, the color palette that's with this suite. So Lovely Lipstick will work perfectly. Then I'm going to use Gray Granite for the metallic part, the metal part of that lipstick holder. Now, if you want to do some shading, I'm not going to spend time to do that here, but you could do some really pretty shading on this to make it look a little bit more dimensional. And then I'll end up with some mint macaron on the bottom. Then of course we have a dye that matches that lipstick. So we cut that out and here is the one that I've already done. You can see this one has a little bit more shading to it. You can see a little bit of light highlight there in the lipstick and along the barrel of the lipstick. So we're gonna add that on here. Let's pop up the sentiment with some dimensionals. These are so cute, just to add a little bit of, a little bit of something on here and make it, uh, you know, attach it to a gift. And then we're gonna finish up with that ribbon that you saw in the catalog, that mint macaron. It's a 1 8 inch sheer linen ribbon. I'm just gonna tie that in a knot. just to give this little note card a little texture. And I think we need one little gem here. I haven't used these in a while, but, and these are actually Melon Mambo, but they actually are pretty close to the lovely lipstick stick. So I'm gonna put those little glitter, a little glitter gem there just to pop that color up again. So here's the first little card. Isn't that adorable? How sweet. It's fabulous. Okay, let's do another card. Let's do the daffodil. And this time, we're going to stamp the big perfume bottle. So I'm gonna use the mint, or the memento. Great big perfume bottle. I'm gonna color that in with some mint macaron. So my perfume in here, it's a full bottle. You could make it, you know, you could put your level of your perfume a little bit lower, but mine is a full bottle. And then I'm just gonna, the, the bottle's a glass jar, but it has kind of a, a mint tinge to it. So I just am putting a little bit around the edges there and then the top i did that with light mint macaron and then we're going to do dark on the top just to give it a little bit more depth there in that jar so here is the perfume and again so convenient <laughs> we have that all cut out with our die, so that will look so cute on there. I also did a little flower. There's a this. There's two different flowers actually, two right here. But I did this one. I colored it in the purple, um, purple posy, stamp and blends and mint macaron for the leaves. So that looks really cute. Let's just go ahead and put this down. put the little flower over here. There we go. And then we have a little, that same little die cut that we had on our tote. I'm gonna add the same thing with the Happy Mother's Day. Across the top here. 
and pop that up with a couple of dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put it right over the parf parfum. Happy Mother's Day. We're gonna add a little bit of that same polka dot tool to the inside here, just to give it a little texture. I love this ribbon because it's, since it's so sheer, it doesn't distract, doesn't take away from a focal point. It just adds a little bit of softness. A little bit of texture. Okay. So there, oh, let's add a couple, let's, we gotta add some bling, right? A little bit. Where's my regular rhinestones? can't not have the bling just can't let's put a couple on here all right it's all in the details isn't that cute there's another one then and then the third one is that puddle pink And just a little swatch there. We're gonna add a little strip of designer series paper across the bottom. This is just a three quarter inch by three. We're just gonna put that right along the bottom here. So we still have a little bit of that strip showing. And I also have another circle from the stitched shapes. That's gonna go here. And I'll just go ahead and put that on. And then for this one, we're going to stamp with the shoes. Actually, you know what? Before this gets too stuck down, I want to move this down just a teeny bit because I want to have room for a sentiment. There we go. So we're going to stamp a couple of the high heel shoes. And we can color those with the lovely lipstick markers. I've already done that. And I've already die cut because we have the die cut in there as well. Don't you love it? Every, every one. So I have two shoes here. I put a little wink of Stella on there because they have to be a little glittery. Do you see? And then we're just going to add one with snail. one here and then we're gonna pop this one up right next to it cute and then we'll add a sentiment at the top life is short buy the shoes buy the shoes whoops I don't think I got enough ink there we go let's try that life is short by the shoes. Okay, and then I have another little mint macaron ribbon here that's gonna go on with a glue dot. Just push it right on the glue dot, pop it off, put a little bow on there, and one little, let's see, what did I do with it? My, aha. I have so much stuff over here. If you, if you saw all the stuff I have sitting off to the side, you would be amazed that I can find anything ever. <laughs> but this is a little champagne rhinestone, just because it looks so great with the petal pink. So there is our third one. So aren't these cards so, so cute? Remember the purple has the cute little matching purple envelope. The yellow has, whoops, this is the petal pink one goes with that and then the yellow has kind of a polka dot look to it so you're gonna get all three of these cute little cards all the makings for those and let me show you something else that's awesome all of these cards 
are going to fit perfectly inside of your tote. So if you wanted to, you could give this as a little gift set to someone. You could put some treats in there as well, and it actually will hold quite a few more cards. So if you've got a pack of the uh, best dressed note cards and made more of them, you could put a whole set of, I would say, you could at least do six um, really comfortably in there, but that would be, that's just a fun little gift that you can give to somebody. So you'll get all of the stuff to make that. Okay, I'm not done yet. I know usually our classes are about 45 minutes, but I do have one more bonus project that I wanna show you. I was thinking about doing it separately, but it's so, uh, it uses the same, a lot of the same projects, or a lot of the same products, and I wanted to, I just wanted to, to let you know what it was. Okay, let's get to it then. So, this one is going to be a little treat holder. And I love having treat holders this time of year with Easter coming up. And like I said, you know, with Mother's Day, mother-daughter banquets, um, showers, wedding showers, uh, baby showers. It's just fun to have a lot of treat ideas for spring. So this one uses the printed gusseted uh, cello bags that come in the birthday bonanza suite. They're really long, but I actually cut it down to, I just put it on my trimmer and cut at the five and a quarter mark. So I'm just using a little piece of it. If you wanted to, you could actually save the what's left over and use it for a shaker card or an accent. You could um, adhere it to the background to make a pretty accent, but just wanted to let you know about that. So you can, you cut this off. Then we're gonna make a little base and I have a little template here. So it's actually, let's see, the, this is Highland Heather. It's gonna be eight and three quarter lengthwise and then two and three quarter wide. And then you're going to score it at the one and a half, the three and a half, and the seven and a quarter. So that's what I have here. And this is going to create a little base that we're gonna put inside of the bag. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's decorate it first. So I've trimmed off, actually made this a little too wide. So this needs to be, this was two and three quarters, so this needs to be two and a half. And this is two and three quarter for some reason. So I'm just gonna trim off a little bit. This is supposed to be two and a half. And what you can do is when you have your three by three paper, you have you can just cut off a strip of two and a half wide. You're gonna cut two pieces that are one and a quarter, and then whatever's left over is gonna be this piece. Um, the length of it is actually three and a half. So two at one and a quarter by two and a half, and one at two and a half by three and a half. So now I'm gonna add these pieces to decorate the inside. Like I said, it's gonna kinda of go like this, and also the two outer pieces here. So this will be the bottom and this will be the top. This is These come together so, so quickly, it is crazy. So we've already cut this down to five and a quarter. We're gonna open up this bag. We're gonna slip this down in here. This is gonna create a sturdy little foundation that you can fill your bag up. So get that nice and flat on the bottom there. And then we're going to close this on the inside. So that you're only gonna be working with one side of that cello bag. Isn't that pretty how that shows up on the back? I love that. So close this down on the fold. Then we're going to use a stapler. I have a mini stapler that used to be, um, the, it's retired, but it was stamping up, but you can just get a little decorative stapler at any craft store. And I'm gonna hold that cello bag right up to the edge. I'm gonna put the pretty side on the outside. 
and I'm gonna get this staple as close to that score line as possible, right up at the top. So that catches that cello bag, but it also gives you a lot of leeway here. If you go down too far with that staple, then you won't be able to lift that flap up very much. So we wanna be able to lift that flap up a teeny bit. Then this, you'll be able to put some candy or whatever on the inside. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you a finished one. But anyway, you put the candy on the inside or whatever you're putting on there. And then you just tuck in that side of the cello bag and it's just gonna sit down on the, it'll sit better once it has a little bit of weight in it from your candy. But the cool part is that, let me just show you one. So here's one that's already done, and we have some candy on the inside, and it's just gonna set, set really nice with that closed. I love it that you don't have it completely shut so that you can just lift this flap up and get right into your candy and not wreck the container. That's one thing, when you go to the trouble of making a cute little treat holder, and then the only way you can get in it is to completely wreck it, it hurts my heart and I hate that. <laughs> so I designed this so that you could actually get in it and then close it back up. So super cute. This is, um, uh, I decorated at the top with the, with the champagne ribbon, the petal pink ribbon. Here's another one in mint macaron. And it's kind of hard to, sh to keep it showing to the camera. And then this is the other one that's kind of the same. But um, then I also decorated with the Tags in Bloom stamp set. So that, I'll show you that really quickly. I'll have those open there, okay. So for that, we're just gonna stamp with, here's the Tags and Bloom stamp set. This is one that you can earn for free with a $100 purchase. It was one of the ones that just came out in the second release. And we're gonna use a couple of these uh, labels that come with it. So I have the first dotted outline. And we're just going to, whoops, whoa, got away from me. We have that, uh, we stamped in soft sea foam, on soft sea foam. Looks like I have a little tinge of red ink that I didn't get off. But we're going to punch that out with the Label Me Lovely coordinating punch. So that is the background here. Then one of the other stamps from that same tags in bloom is this one. We're gonna stamp that in Highland Heather, which I have somewhere close from my first project. <laughs> oh my goodness, it gets crazier and crazier. Highland Heather, I wish someone was here that could say, Ange, it's right there. Oh, here it is. As my mom would have said, if it was a snake, it would have bit ya. So here's Highland Heather with the other little label and then a little sentiment on the inside just for you in memento black. And then the other label me fancy punch fits that one. So that is how we get those two layers really easy. We'll pop that up with dimensionals. And then you can stick that right over the top. Now, if you don't want your dimensionals, I would use dimensionals to add this. If you don't want your dimensionals to be seen when you open this bag up, so make sure that your dimensionals are only on that bottom part of your label. So that you just add that to the front. And then I added that little, that cute little flower from the dress to impress. And that flower 
also has, there's actually two dies with the flower. So if you stamp a bunch of those, you can cut two at a time to do these types of little accents. So isn't that cute? I just love that. So your kit's going to include all of the makings in this pretty Highland Heather version. So you can put together one of those and see how it goes together and, and use it. So you'll have two different treat holders. Let me get all of the, the parts of your class together here. You're gonna have the tote. You're gonna have all of your little cards that you can put in the tote if you want to with your, and you're gonna get the envelopes that go with it. So here's all your little cards. And then you'll also have two of the large cards as well. So this one is kind of a jam-packed full kit. You get a lot in it. So we'll put that here. Look at all of that stuff. And all you need to do to earn the kit is to place a $35 order at my online store. You can find that by going to twocoolstamping.com. Click on the Shop Now link. And then when you get to the shopping cart page, there'll be a place to add the host code. You need to put that host code in because I do usually have several incentives going on. I need to know which one you're looking for. So with a $35 order, add FCJXJY32 and you're gonna get all the parts and pieces for this amazing kit. So, so much fun. You're really gonna love it. Uh, you'll have until next Tuesday, I think that's St. Patrick's Day. So you can place an order by St. Patrick's Day. I'll be sending out the kits by next Friday and you can put those together. You'll have plenty of time before Mother's Day, plenty of time before your spring events. All right, everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed this extended live class today. I hope you've enjoyed the best dressed suite of products and all of the fun we've had making these projects. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those as well. All right, I look forward to seeing you again next Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time for another live class event right here at Too Cool Stamping. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.